Hi, Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group weekly update for the week ending June the 24th, 2022. Have you reached that stage where you just in full of despair because you've lost so much at this point, you feel like it's best that just do nothing and just continue to suffer the beatings until this thing straightens out. My question to you is why haven't whoever let you get into that situation reached out to you and why haven't you uh, uh, had contact with them? I would say right now they're not doing their very good job and we would like to apply for that job here at Asset Guidance Group. Okay. What we're talking about is the emotional side of the investment cycle that uh, most people go through when you and when you especially when we enter into this bear market and we've officially entered into the bear market right now we've gone through a, a, a rally uh, but uh, as of uh, midday here we've we've hit resistance so we don't know that you have that 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 the it's a little relief from the pain thank goodness but uh, but but we're not out of the woods yet on this, and I'll tell you why in just a second. But point is, you don't have to continue to suffer the beatings. In our view, the end of the bear market is usually going to occur before the arrival of good news. We've got some good news this week, but we're not quite there yet. So what do we do in order to, to get from point A to point B? In the meantime, focus on analysis. Analyze performances. We select based on fundamentals and then we implement based on technicals, all right? If it's a time to make a change, yes. If you're down, if you're still down and you don't have the, the dry powder, you know, yes, it is time to make a change because, and we're not talking about timing the market. We're talking about time in the market, but in the right selections, okay? So just because you've been beat up on this down, down run here uh, over the last uh, several weeks doesn't mean you have to stay in those allocations. It's okay to jettison and get back into something new that's going to grow faster on the way back up. So let's not get stuck here, okay? Let's not get stuck in the paralysis of analysis, all right? Here's what we're talking about, searching for true investment opportunities, and then dollar cost averaging in those stocks. We're never gonna hit it just right, just perfect, but over time, as we start to re towards recovery, we will. We believe then, then, this is our philosophy, active, selective investment, over passive uh, investings, okay? We buy quality above everything else. Quality is paramount. And investing in cash-rich corporations then with sock, rock solid uh, balance sheets and steady predictable revenue streams. Those are the companies better suited to weather these downturns in the economy. And then when recovery comes, they'll accelerate while maintaining or achieving market uh, sector leadership during those times. Those are the places that we want to be. Those are the ones we're searching for. And they change periodically, okay? But we wanna stay in there and look for more certainty, okay? More consistency is a better word for them. So, right now, we're in looking at increasing odds of the United States slipping into a recession economically. The Fed rates are increasing, continuing to, and what are they doing to crush demand, okay? As Mohammed Alarian said in our quote of the week, uh, he's a very noted uh, economist. He said, he said the, the markets are still leading the Fed. The 10 year has gone down to three, but la from last week, it was like three, almost three, uh, mid 350s uh, for a while there. That's fear based selling off into cash because there's nowhere to go. Now you see some money buying back into some of those 10 year rates, some stability there, but still the, the markets, uh, Alarian said, are being are leading the Fed instead of the Fed leading the markets. Hopefully, the Fed corrects that too. Because right now, if they step too hard, okay, we're going to definitely go into a recession, and then that throws everything off. So markets are leading the Fed right now, saying maybe ease up, maybe ease up a little bit. That's why you've seen this this equity rally this week. The Russia Ukraine war is still creating shortages, and then we've still got these pandemic related supply chains. The, the issues to, to overcome. So we're not out of the woods yet. It's just some relief. Thank goodness. But we are hitting resistance midday here. Whether or not the, how long this rally lasts is debatable. Uh, probably not much longer according to the technicals today. So our focus then is on analysis again, not paralysis. So identify your realistic goals, quantify what's necessary to achieve those goals, specify your risk tolerance, and then contact us so we can allocate your portfolio accordingly. 
You actually, you need to contact us and help us guide, let us help you guide through those first couple of steps there. Uh, we want to be in then once we get to that point, active management of your portfolio, choosing the best of the best, and that's going to change periodically. And the feedback loop then maintaining open channels of communication. That's where we need to be. We're going to, and towards those end, reach out really soon. So watch your emails for webinar invitations and just have a, a town hall of sorts, a client hall of sorts, all, all, all clients call uh, to review some of these things and answer some general questions. But the idea then is right now, the best performing asset class, cash, okay, cash. All right, we want to help you reach out. Talk to us. We love what we're doing here, and uh, we, we like sharing it with you. So and most of all, happiness is our ultimate goal. Now, why are we doing this? Because we want to engage in those things about which we are most passionate. That's how everyone is going to find fulfillment in the end, and that's the key to happiness. And we want to stay happy. We want happiness because we know that's the key to longevity. Until next week, you stay happy.